Today we are going to run a very simple experiment in a cantilever beam. The cantilever beam is 248 millimeters long from the clamping region. It is 40 millimeters width and 3 millimeters thickness with rectangular cross section. At the tip we have a dial gauge as you can see here and it is graduated in 0.01 millimeters per division. We are going to apply at its tip some weights as you can see here. The one on the right is the one that we are going to use, this device, we are going to use this to insert the load and it's 100 grams. The other two in the middle, they weigh 100 grams each of them as well. And the one on the left is 200 grams. So let's start with this. I'm going to start with this one alone because it is 100 grams already. And I'm going to place it at the tip of the beam. And this is our first measurement. So the dial is at zero. I'm going to place it here. And it walked to the right at the anti-clockwise direction, 23 divisions. So this means that we are reading for 100 grams, 0 0.23 millimeters. I'm going to remove this from here now and see if it goes to zero. Well, there is a small error, as you can see, that I have to adjust. Uh, this is also due to some friction, as you can see. So 0 0.23 for 100 grams. Now I'm going to add 100 grams here. So now I have 200 grams. Now it is 200 grams. I'm going again to place it at the tip and measure. And what I measure is 0 0.48 millimeters for 200 grams. That's what I have. So now I'm going to remove this from here. And again, check my dial gauge. Well, I have a residual 0 0.01 millimeters due to friction. Now I'm going to add extra 100 grams, so now I have 300 grams, and I'm going to read again my dial gauge for 300 grams. I'm going to read now a very larger, much larger number, so I have 0 0.82 millimeters for 300 grams. Now I'm going to remove it from here, and my dial gauge is practically at zero again with the same problem as before. Now I'm going to add, to remove 100 grams, and add 200. So now I have 200, 100, 100, totaling 400 grams. Let's see the deflection at the tip. And what I read now is for 400 grams, I read 1.15 millimeters of deflection, vertical deflection. Finally, I am going to add an extra 100 grams. So now this totals 500 grams and I'm going to place this load at the tip of the beam and my reading now is 1.41 millimeters for 500 grams. And that's it. This is an experiment with a cantilever beam.